All right, man, peace. So recently, there's been a little bit of a controversy concerning a, a pretty top shelf NBA player named Michael Conley. Uh, as those of you who follow the NBA knows, he plays for the Memphis Grizzlies. He kind of came to the forefront last season before last season when he signed what was at that time the uh, most lucrative contract in NBA history. But he's making the news now because on social media, he's kind of being the recipient of a lot of jokes because uh, he's a so-called black man and his and his baby uh, looks like a purely Caucasian baby. So let's let's see what they have to say about this issue. Back to TMZ Sports 7 here with Van and Michael J. Babcock. What what up, up? Up? Everyone's talking about NBA superstar Mike Conley this week, only it's not because of what he's doing on the court. It's a photo that he took off the court. This one right here. Take a look. He posted this photo of uh, his wife, his son Miles. Who's now look at this shit. The man... <laughs> and like Michael, like, you know, this, this photo would be more acceptable if it was like a Blake Griffin or a Steph Curry. You know, somebody like that. If they had chosen a um, so-called Caucasian female and the baby had come out looking like that, then that would be reasonable. But you look at his woman, his woman is not even what you would call a um, a full Caucasian. She looks like what they call like a dark white, right? Like a, um, you know, kind of a Southern European Caucasian, like somebody that might be from Italy or from Greece, right? Or a Serbian, somebody like that, right? His woman doesn't even look that Caucasoid. The baby look like the damn Gerber baby. Look at this shit. And this nigga just there smiling. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. And and this is something I brought up to brothers before. I don't think I don't know if I mentioned it on this channel or not, but to me it should be mandatory that every child should be subjected to a paternity test. Every child. It should not it should not even have to be that the father is seeking a paternity test. Every child that's born should be subject to a paternity test. Miles, who was born in October 2016, very cute kid, right? Beautiful, adorable. Yeah. Yes, but some people are uh, saying that there's something suspicious. Stop cutting, about this photo. Cut to the chase. Right, that look, boy don't look nothing like him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, right. In fact, a person with the Twitter handle Turf Talk Boys tweeted, "Mr. Nice Guy Mike Conley added again, he stayed with his wife after she cheated on him and had another man's baby." Let me keep it wow. real about this photo. <laughs> I was absolutely bewildered by this. Right. I looked, dude, look at that. That's like, the, there's nothing wrong with thinking. It's the obvious, right? When you The baby looked like Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. Like, come on, man. What, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Look, the baby looked like Conor McGregor. When you look at that photo, it, it doesn't look anything like my son, let's be honest. I'm just saying, that little boy is a lot more, I don't know, Dennis than Darius. <laughs> <laughs> look at the damn baby. Baby like the damn Easter Bunny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least it looks he's like he's that, more fair than Mike Conley's wife well, is. And he exactly. Even the Caucasian man pointed that out. The baby is more Caucasian looking than, than, than his damn wife. What the hell is going on? Yeah, well, by the way, and he has her exact eyes, and you really can't see a lot of Mike Conley in there from <laughs> you don't this see particular any of Mike picture. Conley in there. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but look, uh, everybody was talking about it the way that you guys are talking about it right now, and everybody was making her jokes and suspecting all right, this stuff. Right. Mike Conley finally responded. He said, look, my little guy, hashtag blue eyes, hashtag runs in the family, and then he wrote, hashtag, I'm not that nice, meaning <laughs> I'm not that nice he would let, uh, that, that he would, you know, stick around and smile like that if you knew that his wife had had a kid with another man look um i'm not one of these guys who runs around telling people who they should be with particularly the so-called black men but me personally um my children have to look like me all right my children have to look like me i don't i don't understand how these guys they go out there and they and they have these babies and you look in the baby's face and the baby don't look anything like you. Uh, but I guess, look, I guess they find a woman who they feel like is loyal. And um, they say, well, the hell with it. The baby's a product of our love. That's dumb. For me, the baby got to look like me, man. Got to. Your son is you in the regeneration, in the, in the reproduction. All right, your son is going to be the one who represents you after you're gone. 
my baby gotta look like me. I mean, damn. This nigga talking about hashtag blue eyes, hashtag runs in the fam. Man, please. What you mean it, it, it runs in the family? There must be something wrong with your vision, because I, I don't think that there's another person with blue eyes in your family. I doubt it. And I'm not saying that blue eyes don't run uh, in the in the uh, the genetic structure of so-called blacks. You do have so-called black people who have green eyes or, you know, so-called blue eyes. That does happen. That mutation does occur. But, I mean, the baby looks a little tan here. And, you know, a lot of times, and so-called black people, they notice, a lot of times our babies will come out light and then they'll get darker over time. But, I mean, damn, that baby was white as, I mean, pink as hell or white as hell or the damn blonde hair. The baby looked like Brad Pitt. And you know what? The more I thought about this, the more I started thinking about some current NBA players like Klay Thompson, right? Like Zach Levine. Stop, like Devin Booker. Are you pictures. suggesting that one of those <laughs> might be the father? No, I'm saying if we had baby pictures of those guys, they probably look, wouldn't look. Oh well, at least you know. At least she keeps her body right. That's good. That's good. Like, you no, know, she bounced right back. I see she got the little. She got the little cuts in her stomach. That's a beautiful thing, you know. She, she, you know, she keeps herself fit for him. That's nice. That's good. Oh, you know what? I just put two and two together. Who else plays for the Memphis Grizzlies? Or at least did. I don't know if he's still on the team because he's always hurt. That damn Chandler Parsons. That, <laughs> hey, Mike. Mike, you better, you, you better go on um, Jerry Springer. I don't even know if Jerry Springer's still on. Go on that show and bring Chandler Parsons and that baby with you. All right? And bring a basketball with you, too. Test all three. See who's the daddy. Look very black. Oh, okay. So, okay. Oh, I wasn't saying oh, that I they you were, were saying oh, that, like, no. we start, are you starting this father. again, Ben? Do no, you want to start this up again? A little light skin, again? dark skin thing? I'm not starting anything. Mm -hmm. There's a little difference between light skin and translucent. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> Born in October. Uh, come on, I, the, the, the kids change. Yeah. Next month the kid may look more change? like white. Next oh, month the kid might be darker. Who? So, uh, is, uh, let me ask the question. What are the chances? Yeah, that's true. Uh, the Caucasian man on the bottom left with the uh, with the red lumberjack shirt on. He said, "Really? Yeah, that's that that is true. Like I've already stated." Many times, especially among so-called black people, the children or the babies come out really, really light, and then they darken. So we'll see. Chances that in two years the kid looks like Jeremy Lin. You have no idea. There's a go. They don't change that much. It was a legitimate question. He he addressed it, and now if you okay. saw my if you saw my baby photo, you wouldn't know. Look, all I'm saying, I know what you're gonna say, man. I know what you're gonna say. Charles of that Frank Sinatra. Yeah, Charles of that Justin Bieber all the way up to his 28th birthday. <laughs> Look, man, all I'm going to say is this. Mike Conley, brother, get a paternity test. I know he went online. He's trying to rep for his, for his wife and for his family. He don't want to look like a punk. Get a paternity test on that baby. Like I've said, every baby that's born should have a mandatory paternity test. If you're going to sign that birth certificate, which is going to make you a, um, a debtor to the woman in regards to that child... You better know that that's yours. And it should have nothing to do with um, it making the woman feel like you're alienating her or anything. It should be mandatory. That would take all of the personal issues out of the picture. All right. Bottom line. But anyway, Mike Conley, uh, I, I, need, I need a split screen between that baby and Chandler Parsons. All right. Peace.